Hey guys, Ernie here and welcome to the Paleo Hiker MD channel. Over the last couple of years, I've done quite a few videos on gear from Walmart, in particular from their Ozark Trails line. Those tend to be very popular because a lot of people are looking for inexpensive gear that they can use out on the trail. Today we're going to learn the truth about their very popular five piece cook kit that's less than six bucks. Thanks for watching guys. Now I really do try to do a variety of different types of reviews, especially when it comes to a variety on cost. Some gear is very expensive, some gear is very inexpensive. The reality is, is in this day and age, you don't have to stay out of the woods because you can't find gear. There is a lot of inexpensive gear that really can do the job overall. Today we're taking a look at the Ozark Trails five piece mess kit. And I would like to mention very clearly that this is a little different than most of my reviews. I've not used this particular cook kit and I'm not going to use it. I'm simply wanting to show you guys what comes in the kit and my initial thoughts about it. I usually like to use my gear that I review four to five times at least before I give a review, but this one in particular, I'm gonna be giving away with a couple of other very similar kits to our local Boy Scout troop, so I didn't wanna use it. I think I've reviewed enough things to have a general idea what to think of it without using it. It's not my favorite way to go, but in this case, it's the way it's gonna be. Not my normal practice, but I hope you guys understand. Let's take a look at the kit. So this is the kit. Let's get a quick weight on it. We've got 14 ounces, basically 14 ounces. Dimensions are 6.7 by 7 by 1.7, okay? We'll take it apart here. We've got a couple of different parts to the system. The top here is like a little plate and you can use it to eat out of, it's very nice. We have a small pot. It does have a little bale, okay, that locks in place. This plastic knob will definitely melt if you are using it over an open fire, so you wanna make sure and replace that if you're gonna do that. We have a frying pan, which is a little weird because, I don't know if you can see that, but it, it, I don't know, am I missing something, guys? It seems to go to the bottom here, and it's kinda of weird to hold. But it's definitely functional, okay? It's a little fry pan. And lastly, we've got this little measuring cup. I think it holds one cup of water. Very cheaply made plastic. Details of construction, uh, these are just pressed pieces. It does have a little lip. They are definitely warpable. They're very, very thin stainless steel. Okay, there's no doubt about that. This one feels like it's the same exact type of stainless steel. If you flip this over, it does work as a lid, which is nice. It's a nice touch to allow you to have a lid for your frying pan. The handle does lock in place. Okay, I guess if you wanted to hold it like that to fry, you could, kind of interesting but does lock in place. The pot, this top is extremely thin, easy to warp. This does seem to be a little bit thicker stainless steel, which is nice. So I think they did put a little bit better quality stainless steel into the pan, see the bottom. The bale comes up and does lock in place, which is nice. This top, I would definitely replace this. You put this over hot and fire, this is going to melt in a minute. Lid fits well, and overall, I think that it's a pretty decent kit for, again, the price. Put it all back together real quick. Just pop this in here, put this, and put this over the top. Lock that in. You got your cook kit. So is it worth the money? It's less than six dollars. That's amazing. Take the cup out of the equation and you're paying less than two dollars for a plate, less than two dollars for a pan with a lid, and less than two dollars for a fry pan. It's absolutely a foreign made product. The quality is not excellent. The stainless steel is not very thick. You can easily warp it if you really try to. There's a long list of problems with it, but it's less than six bucks. People who go out there and look at gear like this and expect it to perform like really high quality gear, you just don't get it. It's not the case. The truth about this kit is it is an intro kit. It is inexpensive, it's pretty cheaply made, but if you wanna get out in the woods and you wanna have some fun, it's certainly worth picking up if it's all you can afford. It's also a great kit for kids as their beginner cook kit. It's not very expensive, if they mess it up, no big deal, but it's functional enough for them to be able to cook over an open flame if they want to, cook over their stoves if they want to, and have a lot of fun doing it. So what do you guys think? Obviously this is budget gear, and that's exactly what it's supposed to be, something that's inexpensive. I hope that I've showed you guys that it's not the highest quality, but it works. And if you're looking for something that fits the bill, it is definitely worth the money. If you liked the video, make sure you hit the thumbs up down below. It really helps spread things across YouTube, guys. I can't tell you how much it helps, so do that for me. If you're not a subscriber already, and I know a lot of people who watch the videos are not subscribers, 
do me a favor, hit that subscription button. You never know what you might miss if you're not subscribed. And if you want to be absolutely sure you don't miss any videos, hit that ding dong bell. You'll be the first to know. Really appreciate everyone's support recently. The channel continues to grow and I'm having a lot of fun making these videos. Stay tuned for more videos here on Paleo Hiker MD.